Morning, my friends. I hope everyone went over to Rumble and watched the blocked video. I'm so proud of our From Sal to Paul video, and I haven't made one for years because they get blocked worldwide, and I thought maybe we had a chance with that one, but we didn't. But I'm here cleaning my little apartment, having a nice day, and I feel like talking about music a little bit, and Nick here uh, uh, leaving me a comment on X, talking about, hey, I, I get what you're saying when you say jazz is pretentious. Well, there's a lot of people that will say jazz is pretentious. Oh, it absolutely is. We could talk for a long time on how jazz is, I mean, it's really just people smelling their own fucking farts. But see, the thing is, is, if I taught you how to play guitar, you would be a friend of music. Music theory would be doing it for you along with the Holy Spirit inside you and you would feel like you're along for the ride. It's the whole thing of the beauty of the mathematics of how the guitar itself is laid out and if we were just playing a blues song, which is one, four, five, or actually two, three, or six, two, three, doesn't matter if you know what I'm talking about. Those are just the chords for it. If we played country, it would be a one, four, five. If we played blues, it would be a six, two, three, is the chords that we have. But when you can change chords with the song, no matter what song we're playing. See, the people that play jazz and just people that basically try to solo on guitar, they take one blanket scale, then they try to solo over the entire chord progression with one scale. And that's why we have so many videos on YouTube that are like, stop noodling, start playing creative things. Well, because when you take one scale and you just blanket it over an entire chord progression, you kind of just negate the chords itself. You ignore the chords and you just play your scale over it. But see, think about this. If you're just playing your same scale, let, let's say you're playing to a backing track and you played to the backing track, you practiced guitar solos. Then you go to the next backing track. Let's say the first backing track was an A, and then the next backing track is in C. Well, you know what all these people do? They take that same scale, that same exact scale that they just played for the last backing track. Then they play it for the next backing track. While when you play one blanketed scale, you ignore all the chords. So you just get yourself into ruts. You just end up playing the same thing over and over and over again. And it's totally uninspired. It's boring. There's nothing to it. Then there's the actual world of playing music where you're a friend of music theory. Music theory does it for you. You're the Holy Spirit within you is doing it. Music theory teams up with the Holy Spirit and you feel like you're along for the ride when you actually change the chords, but it's so hard to do. It's so hard to do until you learn how to see these things on the fretboard, which that ends up doing it for itself. It's the difference between there's a really beautiful road to learning music where I can't em emphasize it enough. I mean, I'd really have to make a video with my guitar. I can't emphasize it enough. There's a way of learning music that is so incredibly beautiful and you feel like you're a friend of music while you feel like it's doing it all for you. And you have the ability to change chord to chord to chord as the chord progression is changing and you can do this effortlessly all over the guitar neck. It keeps your mind occupied because, yeah, there's a lot to think about when you're actually changing with the music, playing with 
the music, not ignoring the chords itself. There's a difference. Jazz is one pretentious ass, boring piece of shit that's supposed to have rhythms that people can't follow. Yeah, that's what makes jazz pretentious. Using rhythms, seven, eight timing that people can't dance to. Jazz purposely because it's boring. Because of all these things I'm saying, jazz tries to make itself interesting by having timings people can't follow. It's, it like, it's like it makes a secret club of, do you understand jazz? Because you can't follow the beat. Can you understand that it's in seven, eight times? It's like a joke on people that don't get it, that it's purposely doing seven, eight time timings. It's purposely doing that so that the audience can't find the beat. It's purposely doing that because it's boring as fuck. That's what makes it pretentious. And, but see, I'm not, just, I'm not just talking about jazz. I should have said that earlier in the video. I'm not just talking about jazz. I'm talking about anybody that just tries to play a guitar solo and they just use one blanketed scale over the entire chord progression, negating the chords itself, getting themselves in a rut, playing the same scale over one backing track, then going to the next backing track, playing the same scale over that, then the next backing track, same scale over that. If you played with friends, same scale over that, rather than every single chord progression is different when you change with the chords itself you find new notes you find all kinds of shit that you didn't hear all kinds of things that you couldn't think your way into and it presents itself on a moment to moment basis so it's always brand new it's always original it's always fun and it's a never-ending road versus the other way to do it, which is stale, dead. And um, yeah, um, this is just another thing. This might as well be a mystery school thing because it's only, it, it seems to be only me that gets this. It seems to be only me that teaches it. And the entire internet is anti what I'm saying. So if I tried to present this to the guitar community, they would absolutely cancel me. They would absolutely get rid of me for teaching them how guitar really works, the fun of it, the never ending road, how it's inspiring every moment, how it's brand new every moment. And they're playing the dead way. They're playing the dead man's letter game of dead people. And since they're all doing it, Welp, I mean, you better not interrupt them. So I make this guitar, I make this video about music for everybody else, uh, not the guitar community, you know, people that want to learn how to play guitar, people at the mystery school. But as far as trying to teach this to people that think that they are guitar players and all that, oh, might as well not. My, my, it just, it's just another thing to be canceled over. So, um, yeah, much love. And I'll say it again. I hope everybody went over to Rumble and watched the From Sal to Paul video, which is called Away From the Sun, is what I named it, because you'll see why at the end. And much love to everyone. I hope everyone has the greatest day.